Hello, my name is Sena Kapomo. I am your host and creator here at Healthcare Boulevard. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. You may very well be the first <laughs> or one of the first listening to this. So I appreciate you for that. You will always have a very special place on this channel, period. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about myself then i'll tell you what this channel is about and we'll wrap it up with the be beautiful book okay so you've already heard my name technically my name is actually Sena Kapovi. i am getting married in about what four or five days so i'm just i'm going with my with my married name i'm, I'm just claiming it okay it's happening <laughs> but um, I am a Beninese, which means I was born and raised in Benin Republic, a small country in West Africa. I moved out here to the United States in my teenage years, where I stayed in Maryland with my family here in America. Went to high school, went to college, get my associate, well, bachelor's and all that good stuff. The usual, the usual boring stuff you do after high school, right? And um, that's when, in 2018, California called. And by California called, I mean, PA, I got accepted into PA school and that was in California where I'm currently residing with my fiance, soon to be husband. And uh, so I moved across the country and that's where I'm at right now. So that I've had two major moves in my life, essentially. So we'll see how many I make by the time I'm 50. Because <laughs> I do love moving around. But that's besides the point. Um, I... So I finished PA school this past December. So, you know, hashtag COVID grad. Okay. The struggle was real. But we finished it. We're done. And secondly to that, I took my pins two days ago. And thus that part is done. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed until I get that result that said pass. Okay. And if you're a PA or a healthcare professional and you've taken a licensing exam, you understand Especially for your first time, you understand that can be very nerve-wracking. But that that is essentially as much as I need to tell you about, I think is appropriate for right now, about myself. And as I graduated from PA school and as I finished my licensing, I've had this idea for quite some time and I wanted to make it happen. You know, I want to birth was being in my head into reality the reason i've had this idea and 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 uh you know raise your head your hand in the comments or say oh my gosh me too or something in the comments if you can relate okay you are either a nurse or a pa or a pt or ot or or you know a respiratory therapy so something in healthcare professional and usually when you tell somebody that they're like well oh wow um, what does, you know, what does so-and-so do? So say I'm a PA, so a lot of my examples will be coming from a PA perspective, but I know that can go across the board for any, any professional, any profession, especially in the healthcare field. So I've asked them last time here, oh, you're a PA. How do you become a PA? How long is the process? Uh, what's, is that an MA? What's the difference between PA and NP? Is that a, like a junior doctor you know so many and you know of course those who i was actually more interested in how my journey they'll be like well how did you be decide to become a pa versus an, an np or versus an md what was the deciding point for you or what have you and i'm sure if you're in healthcare you've had to educate somebody and i do it very pleasantly because you know i enjoy healthcare for all the flexibility and enjoyment and challenge that he offers i enjoy it um so if you are like me or you're in healthcare or you know somebody in healthcare you probably have either asked them <laughs> because it's possible you're the one who need or will appreciate at the very least this platform that i'm putting together and that is you've heard or you you've you've asked you know how do you become this what's the difference between this and that well, uh, how long is it? How much is it? Why this? Why that? So all those questions and the answer to those questions are not, it's not that they're not out there. They're all out there. And a lot of us, like myself, like I had to do years ago, 
have to go to the different websites, whether it's a uh, um, um, licensing website or, or what have you, or just blogs or what have you, and get that information together for ourselves, put it on a document. And if you're deciding between diff- let's say four different careers for that matter in healthcare, you are doing a, a, a essentially either mental or actual flowchart or, or, or table for the pros and cons, the how to become this, how to, you know, you're looking at the income that they make, the the history of that, work-life balance, autonomy. So all these things play a role into why anyone, including myself, decides to be what they decide to be in healthcare, whether that's PA, NP, doctors, PT, or what have you. And so this is what this platform is for. It's for anybody who may utilize a one-stop shop for explaining and uh, opening the doors to healthcare, to healthcare as a profession. So to do that on this platform, I will be utilizing the facts from the different websites, the different accredited websites, the different peer review stuff, um, to to give you the facts, put it in one place, cite it, so you can go ahead and, and add to it as you want to dive in deeper. I will also, and this is actually what I'm most excited about because I too will get to see more of healthcare doing this, is I will be interviewing different healthcare professionals as we are on the subject, right? So let's say um, we are talking about PAs. I'm going to get you the facts about PAs, so, you know, how PAs become to be, came to be, well, the history, what was there, other names to PAs before they became physician assistant. Um, the s- scope of practice is such a big thing in healthcare because if you go outside your scope of practice, you are putting yourself at risk for a lawsuit, period. You are doing that, and you know it. It's it's a whole it's a whole that nobody wants to be in the courts. Um, so scope of practice is a big thing, and there can be a lot of over overlying. Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There can be yeah overlapping. Thank you. There can be a lot of overlapping in scope of practice, especially the higher you get in healthcare. Um, but I will be diving into all of that as well as giving you interview from different professionals. Even as we are in one profession, let's say, um, and not just as an example, because I am studying with PAs, I will give you not just people who are working in cleaning, but people who have the PA license, the PA title and education, but are doing something different than clinic, something different than being in the hospital, something different than working in the states for that matter if i get that opportunity so i'm excited for that i'm very excited for that um as as far as the the classification so i i've sat down and i thought about it in my head i was like whoa there is a lot (laughs) on the the umbrella it's not even umbrella which is why i call this a boulevard it's not an umbrella it's not a house it's not a car it's not a bag it's a boulevard it's a boulevard. It's essentially a highway, whatever you want to call it. It's a big old boulevard with a whole lot of different avenues, streets, roads, uh, terraces, circles, and so forth coming out of that. And so my goal here is to get to those different avenues, go to the corners, and bring everything to light so that when you come to this channel, you are able to see what a healthcare professional does, depending on what their title, you're able to see and understand the scope of practice of a PA, the scope of practice of an NP, the scope of practice of a CNA, scope of practice of a medical doctor, ophthalmologist, um, and so forth. So, and you can do that with not just the fact that I've given you, the fact that, you know, I've, I've essentially put together and organized for you, but also by hearing and seeing real life examples of people who are doing things and not living this life of this profession. So my three classification that I essentially came up with after, you know, uh, <laughs> the confusion <laughs> that usually happens when you think about the, all the different titles in healthcare is I've come up with three major, still major categories that uh, 
Streets Road Avenue, right? So we have the Medical Doctor Street, okay? We have uh, the Nurses Avenue, and we have the Ally Health um, Road, okay? So those are the three major ones. The MDs, we have everything that can be under MD. Ophthalmologist, um, OBGYN, pulmonologist, pulmonologist, sur uh, surgeon, cardiothoracic surgeon, and so forth. You know, anything that's MD, is a, we're going to talk about. That's a big uh, um, avenue for that. Then we are talking about nurses and the different titles in nurses from, from CNA to uh, LVN to NPs. Then lastly, and this is where I fall in, we have the ally health. At least that's what I'm calling this group because we are not nurses, we are not doctors, we are ally health. We work with the doctors, we work with the nurses. We There is a lot of overlapping between the doctors and the nurses, sometimes depending on what title you hold in this group. So example of that, as I already mentioned, is a physician assistant, is um, a physical therapist, is a, a pharmacist, is a dentist, and so forth. And... Uh, in case you're wondering, well, a pharmacist and a dentist are oh, doctors, you are very right. And I did debate putting the pharmacists and, and, and dentists and even PTs because those are all at, at the highest level of their professions in the doctor's area. But my goal here is to try to reduce the confusion. So I figure it will be better to just put it down. And then once we get to those... Uh, professions i will very well make it very clear that these people are indeed doctors they're just not medical doctors so i've uh, told you who i am i've told you what this channel is about and who may benefit from this channel i've told you my goal with this channel i've told you the medium with, the, with which i'll be doing this so um I'll, it'll be a combination or maybe i haven't it'll be a combination of uh podcast and video cast uh, of videos so the po as when it's an episode where I'm just talking and giving you the facts and so forth, it will simply just be a podcast. And um, I will, for every episode, I will cite, especially episodes where it's facts-based, I will cite everything. It won't be APA format or MLA or anything. I'll just give you the link. Okay, <laughs> I'm out of school. <laughs> um, I will cite that and organize it in such a way that it's it's easier for you to get the information if you decide, oh, this is something I want to learn more about. Now, when it's an interview, that will be more video-based. And I will just simply, whatever information the person is willing to share with you, I will put that there for you to um, learn, just learn from their experience is a goal with that. Um, if you are a nurse or a PA or a doctor or any other healthcare professional, PT, OT, I try not to leave anybody else, please, and you're watching this or listening to this, rather I should say, please comment in below if you are interested in collaborating or just in, on this podcast or on this channel or anything else for that matter. Um if you know somebody who might be interested in listening to this and who might make use of uh, following me throughout this journey as we, you know, discover the boulevard of healthcare, I will essentially be, um, let's say this is a, you're taking a tour of the boulevard that is healthcare, the healthcare boulevard, and I will be your tour guide. How about that? So if anybody might make use of this, please share with them um, for yourself. Please like, comment subscribe and because i am currently not making a commitment for weekly or bi-weekly for that matter uh to you i'm not making a commitment i am i have a personal goal for myself which is uh putting something out every week but that's not a commitment i am right out telling you right now i'm not making that commitment right yet just because of life happening on my end and a lot of, i'm in a lot of transition right now um but hit the bell button when you subscribe um, so that when I post something, you get notified and you can watch that and share and like and so forth. Um, that is about it for for what I have today. I just wanted to, subs to introduce myself, introduce the channel, tell you what to expect. And uh, if you have any questions, please just write them in the comment. If not, if you want to get to me directly, Email me at healthcareboulevard at gmail.com. 
you can find me on uh, LinkedIn, Sena Kapovi, and I have other social media ads, but that those two will be the most, the biggest ones, the best appropriate one for this channel. How about that? That's it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us on the Boulevard. I hope you've enjoyed your trip today, <laughs> your tour today. And uh, I will leave you there and uh, send you off to your hotel, <laughs> to your hotel room to enjoy the spa there. And uh, next time I join you, we will be checking out another part of the boulevard. Thank you all. This has been a pleasure. I am Sena Kapomo, signing out. Bye.